Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's time for the donation unboxing for March 2020. And wow, I got a lot more stuff than I expected to get. I didn't really think I would get very much uh, in the P.O. box because of the whole uh, pandemic thing. Um, I, in fact, I kind of discouraged people from sending anything if it would put them in any kind of danger or put them at any risk at all. But people still send stuff. Uh, it's, it's really amazing. Thank you all uh, for sending things. I want to remind everyone that you do not have to send me anything. I am happy just having you here watching the videos. Um, but this is extremely generous um, and, and I really do appreciate it. So I want to remind everyone that if you choose to send something to the channel, I will put the P.O. box on the screen right now so you'll know where to send it. Um, I want to remind everyone that uh, given the um, pandemic that's still going on right now, you should take precautions. Do not put yourself at risk just to send something to me. Um, just be safe. I want everyone out there to be safe. Uh, that's far more important than you know YouTube or anything else. So. Um, that's the main thing I want to say. I want to caution everyone um, against doing anything that would put you at risk. Um, but having said that, if I get anything in the month of May, um, anything that I get at the P.O. box, I will open up on camera and show everyone what we got. And we've got a lot to go through here, so I am going to pause the video. I'm going to cut these boxes open and let's see what we've got. Okay, I guess I'm gonna start with the smallest package and this is from Anthony Corrales. Anthony, thank you for sending this to me. Um, I've already cut everything open so I can just pull things out and see what we got. And Anthony sent something that is nicely bubble wrapped. Ah, interior, oh, there's a letter. There's a letter, I probably should have got my glasses. Let's see. No, oh, no, it's printed in a very large font. I can read it without my glasses. It says, Dear HCC788, glad to see you are back and doing well. Thank you. Uh, this time I made uh, the font bigger. Thank you very much. Uh, to heck with this COVID-19, enclosed is a custom that I just finished. I know I'm going to get a lot of heat because it was a Menti Destro version 1 figure, but I thought uh, it would uh, do well with the other two customs that I sent you. Yes, he sent me some customs before. Um, hopefully I can continue to do um, all the other characters. Everyone at my job got a kick out of seeing your unboxing of the last ones I sent you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Anthony. And let's see, now I'm curious. Um, as some of you know, I don't really do customs, at least not very much. And so I don't have a lot of customizing skills. So I'm really interested in seeing uh, what people do for customs, you know, when they, uh, it's something that they are, mo are more enthusiastic about, they've got more skills doing it. Uh, and Anthony has sent some really cool stuff. I know what it is. I know what it is. Um, it's a very clever custom, and that goes along with the others that he sent me because he sent me some customs of some Action Force uh, Red Shadows uh, villains. I, I think he sent me the um, the Baron Iron Blood. Um, well, how about a repainted Destro as the Red Jackal? That is so cool. I'm gonna try to get a good tight shot of that. So it's got the um, skull and crossbones in the uh, on his chest with the red chest. Um, hey, I don't think there's any problem. I don't have a problem with this. This is, I think, a good use of a Destro. Um, and just and it got Destro's backpack and his gun as well. But, hey, you know, I love the Action Force figures. I especially love those uh, earlier ones where, um, you know, they were kind of integrating G.I. Joe into Action Force using some of the same molds, but using them in different ways than G.I. Joe did. Uh, and that is one of them. So thank you very much, Anthony. This is a trip. 
I love it. I think it's fantastic. And I will put this with the others. Okay, I'm just going to set this guy over here and he can watch me open the others. So there we go. Uh, next, I'm going to go with this one right here. And this is from Brandon Knight. Brandon is a longtime friend of the channel. Uh, he sent a lot of stuff in. Um, I have no idea what this could be. Uh, so let's find out. Let's see what Brandon sent this time. Um, and I guess I didn't cut that tape well enough. Let's, uh, there we go. Uh, always nicely packaged. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, some bubble wrap. I, I, I'll never have a shortage of bubble wrap because I keep all of that stuff and, and I do use it sometimes. So, um, All right, there's Brandon's letter and I believe I can read this without my glasses. Let's see. It says, Dear HCC788, how are you and your family doing? What a strange way to start the year 2020. That's an understatement. Talk about a year of change since you can't go out. I thought it would be cool to take you back in time and discover something old and new. So enjoy these items. Uh, though we can't hang out, it uh, doesn't mean uh, we can't find ways to uh, communicate or share things. These are dark times, so we must keep our spirits up and keep on fighting for life and health. I agree. Also, let's find ways to help each other so we can show we are not alone. Write a letter or use video chat. I hope that these hard times makes our community stronger than ever before. Um, keep making good videos like you always do, but take a break if you need one. Remember, knowing is half the battle. Uh, Yo, Joe, thank you, Brandon, a.k.a. Night Viper. Uh, I, and by the way, I should mention that these letters that you guys send me, I keep all of these. These never get thrown away. I have a place where all of them um, are they're filed away so that I can keep them forever and they'll never get lost. So now let's see what Brandon sent. We've got some uh, Ziploc bags. I, I can use storage too. That's, that's helpful. Uh, okay, Ziploc bags. Um, oh, and this is intriguing. Uh, it looks like um, it's Darklon. There's Darklon. Um, well, it, he was like Destro's cousin or something like that, right? Um, he drove the Evader. Um, he has kind of like a uh, like a Darth Vader mask and like this gun. I thought looked like a like a paintball gun. Uh, I think it's because of this thing that's under the uh, uh, under the the stock there. To me, it kind of looks like um, one of those CO2 cartridges um, that uh, that are on like um, paintball guns. And this is uh, this file card is different. Um, I I will have to. This is apparent. I believe this is a foreign release of Darklon. Uh, this is not the typical U.S. file card, and uh, now I'm curious. Um, uh, he doesn't describe in the letter um, the background of these toys, so I guess I will get to do a little bit of research and find out. So there's Darklon, and this is... I don't know what this is. Let's see. This is... This is... Uh, I think this is... Um, not G.I. Joe. I think this is the core, if I am not mistaken. Uh, so I think this is a Leonard action figure. I don't think this is uh, G.I. Joe, but um, Brandon has sent quite a few um, Leonard, the core figures as well. I, if I'm mistaken about that, you know, I, I apologize, but I believe that's what the, this is. Um, again, I will find out, but uh, that's really cool. It's like there's some things on here that we didn't get on GI Joe, like these like little removable pieces on the on the figure and a removable uh, holster there on the leg. Uh, but that's cool. And then there's one other thing in here, uh, another guy that does not appear to be a G.I. Joe, but uh, maybe I'm wrong about that, too. Um, what is this? Uh, oh, it's a bronze bomber. Oh, it's a bronze bomber. No, that is... Okay, I got it. I get you. Now, the bronze bombers uh, came out a bit later. In fact, is there a year on this? 1989, okay? 
Um, and they were kind of like G.I. Joe compatible. Compatible, not compatible. Compatible. Um, and uh, these are these are now, a lot of them are considered to be, you know, kind of rare and, and collectors go after these. Um, this, uh, those arms look like Mego figure arms. Um, that is really cool. Um, Wayne Golden Alexander. Um, computer science programming, his motto, never stop learning. His goal, to sail the world. Uh, that is awesome. That is so cool. Thank you, Brandon. I've got to say, these donation unboxings are always a thrill for me because it's I, I'm always surprised by what I get. Uh, it's always something unexpected and wild and really interesting. So uh, this is another one from Brandon. It uh, is book size, so I assume it's a comic book or something like that. So let's find out. I'm going to slide it out here. It does look like a comic book. I'm going to set that aside. We've got another letter from Brandon. It says, um, Dear HCC788, even though we live in dark times, we must not get depressed, uh, but be strong and spirits up. Thanks for being here and bringing us together. Even though we all have not met face to face, we all have become friends, and with these friendships, we will conquer these dark times. I hope so. Uh, this package is an item that can take you away from reality for a short time. Sorry, no cure for the virus in this package. If you gonna, if you had a cure for the virus in this package, you shouldn't be sending it to me. Uh, but that, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, this might uh, not be uh, the year we meet. Maybe next year will be better. I hope. I sure hope next year is better. Yeah. Um, well, until we finally meet, uh, this will have to do. Take care, be safe, stay healthy, uh, plus wash your hands. I washed my hands just before we started here, and I'll wash my hands after I'm done, too. Um, my love to you and your family. Hope the next Coke Convergence will be fun. Remember, G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe, uh, and knowing is half the battle. Thank you, Brandon. I, again, I keep all of those, all of those letters. And it is a comic book. Uh, it's the Dark Horse G.I. Joe. Yes, I, you know, this is something I have not read, um, but this is like the uh, the G.I. Joe series. It's not Real American Hero, but the G.I. Joe series um, by uh, Dark Horse Comics. And I, 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 truthfully, I don't know a lot about it. Um, and so I'm kind of glad that you sent this because it gives me an opportunity to to learn more about it. Um, see, I can read the letter, uh, without my glasses, but I don't know that I, I can read the, uh, Indicia, uh, 1996. Um, so this, uh, is interesting. That looks like, is that Sergeant Savage? Um, it's, uh, writer is Mike W. Barr, uh, uh, penciler Tatsuya, uh, Ishida. Okay, well, this this is cool. Uh, this actually does give me a chance to look into something that uh, is related to G.I. Joe, but I don't know very much about. So uh, thank you for this, Brandon, and thanks for thinking of me. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Um, you know, I, I would uh, return your own advice and to keep your spirits up, and um, hopefully we'll all make it through this very soon. I'm going over to this side next, and this is from James Thompson. Thank you, James, for sending something. Uh, and right at the top, we have a letter. Uh, and I will pause the video because I do believe I need my glasses to read this one. Hold on one second. Okay, Professor Grandpa will now take a moment to read this uh, letter from... Uh, James, it says HCC788, another gift for you. I know uh, you don't really collect modern figures. Hope you still enjoy them. I've been, I enjoy everything that you guys send me. It's, uh, it's extremely generous, and I, I absolutely do appreciate it. Uh, please display them next to each other. Okay, interesting. Uh, I always pictured them as student and teacher, master, apprentice, etc. Um, on a side note, if you do a review of them. Um, Maybe Mini HCC can assist. Mini HCC, yes, my little buddy. Um, okay, um, thanks, uh, James Ferrick. Um, James Thompson in in, in, uh, in quotes Ferrick here. Uh, so again, keeping that 
always keep the letters and let's see what we got. We got uh, packing material, well packed, well packed, and ah, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, uh, yes, these are modern, but they're pretty cool. I, I, um, I think you will get a kick out of these. What we have is the 25th anniversary Snake Eyes, uh, and we have Helix. Um, from the, this is the Rise of Cobra, yeah, from the Rise of Cobra line. And uh, this is a character, where's my, uh, I gotta zoom in, hold on a second. Uh, where's my clicker? There it is. Uh, here we go. Let me zoom in a second. Uh, they are both carded, but uh, I have been known to take uh, modern figures off of the card before. Um, this is a, a really cool Snake Eyes figure with the wolf. Excellent. Um, this is um, this Helix fi um, character, Covert Operations, um, I believe had origins outside of uh, the regular Real American Hero media. Uh, and so I will have to look at that a little bit to understand more of the background of this character. Um, but uh, it's really nice to have a new, I guess relatively new now, um, female character in the line. Um, women characters were always underrepresented, uh, but uh, it's nice to, to get a new one. So uh, really awesome. Thank you very much for this, uh, James. Uh, it's very much appreciated. And hey, I will see if uh, Mini HCC uh, feels like uh, reviewing these with me. All right, I'm gonna open this one first and this one will be last. Um, this one is from Eric Amon, uh, uh, Ebro Hodag. Uh, I think I know what this is. Now this is not from Eric. Uh, this is from uh, Joe Delbito. And Joe Delbito is actually a Marvel artist that worked on G.I. Joe. He was actually the inker for the Order of Battle series. Uh, if you remember that series, they kind of reprinted uh, the uh, file card information with uh, some new artwork by Herb Trimpey, and it was uh, inked by Joe Delbido. And this, um, I don't want to give his address away, but it has some artwork on the envelope. Um, it has a Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man saying, don't bend. Uh, so now I've got to keep this, i got to keep this packaging because there's artwork right there on the packaging, uh, which is uh, amazing. So I, I want to save that for last. I'm really curious about what that could be. I have no idea. But I think I know what this one is from Eric. Uh, thank you, Eric, for sending this. Uh, I open it up. Uh, I remove the packing material. I remove more packing material. Ah, yes. This is... Uh, because Stalker is my favorite character. Uh, this is the Hall of Fame Stalker. Hall of Fame Stalker that uh, was modeled after... I hope I don't get it wrong, but the, I think it's version 4 Stalker. The Talking Battle Commander Stalker that had the big yellow backpack. Well, this uniform is based off of that. Um, and it's still in the box. Uh, this is a 12-inch figure. It's got a file card on the back. It's got, I guess it's got some sound effects. So let's see if, uh, if the battery still works. The battery does not still work. That's all right. I can replace batteries. Um, so I have not uh, dived very deeply into these Hall of Fame figures. I have a couple of them, um, but uh, this is, um, it, it's a, an interesting interpretation of G.I. Joe in the 90s. They took some figures uh, from the 90s and basically scaled them up, gave them cloth uniforms, and made them 12-inch figures. Um, and that's what they've done with Stalker here. So. Um, I may just, um, I, I may just, uh, open it. I, I'm, I'm really curious about the figure itself and the accessories. I know it's sealed and I know it's, uh, you know, you don't typically like to open, um, vintage sealed items, but I'm just super curious about this guy. Uh, so thank you, Eric. 
a really interesting item and I look forward to uh, opening this guy up and, and maybe taking a closer look at it. Okay, let's see what this is about. Now, the reason I think that uh, Eric had something to do with this is because he sent me a message uh, on the Facebook uh, to make sure that I received this. So, uh, I don't know exactly what he has to do with it, but um, if Eric, if you have something to do with this, thank you for that. Um, and let's see. So, inside the outer wrapping, we have, oh, it's tape. Hold on, I gotta cut that. Gotta cut it carefully. I do not want to damage anything it is protecting. But let's get that tape cut. Hold on. It's cut away from me so I don't cut myself. Okay. And that should do it. There we go. So I'm gonna slide this out of the way. I'm definitely not getting rid of these, this packaging because like I said, it has some artwork on it. Uh, and do I need to cut more tape? It looks like I do. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more tape. Um, I try to cut any tape and open any boxes before I start recording because I figure you guys don't wanna sit and watch me cut tape, right? That's, that's not what we're all here for, but sometimes we gotta do it on camera. Uh, so I think I have it the wrong way. Ah, uh, look at that. Look at this. Okay, no, I gotta, it's, hold on, I gotta, I don't want to take this off. It's on this um, priority mailbox as a backing board. I don't want to take it off right now. Um, this is a Wizard World Philadelphia Comic Con exclusive, and this is, yes, this is, it looks like a photostat copy of the, I, I need to show you rather than just look at it myself. Uh, of the uh, Order of Battle issue number one cover. And this would have been the cover that um, Mr. Delbito inked. He was the inker on these, uh, on these issues. And it looks like it's signed. It says 2HCC788. Wow, this is a trip. It looks like it's, uh, it, it's a limited edition 3 of 20. Oh, wow. Um, I will get a frame for this. Yeah, uh, it's uh, signed here, um, is, uh, penciled by Herb Trimpey and uh, inked by Del Bito. And yeah, it's got, oh, it's got a lot of great characters in here. Um, this is so cool. Um, I don't even know what to say. Um, I uh, have been very fortunate to get some um, some prints uh, from Joe artists and just some really good artists that I re respect and admire and uh, some original artwork and this is so unique. Uh, it's a little little piece of uh, G.I. Joe comic book history um, and, and it's signed by the guy who helped make it. Um, this is awesome. Well, uh, thank you Joe, and thank you, Eric, and thank you, everyone, uh, who sent something this month. Um, it, it's really overwhelming. This is always an amazing trip for me every time we do this, because I'm just surprised every time about what you guys send me. So uh, my deepest thanks, I want to remind everybody once again, I will remind everybody every time, you do not have to send anything to me. Um, I'm happy just having you here, just going on this G.I. Joe collecting journey with me. That's all I need. Um, uh, you, you have all been so generous uh, throughout the life of this channel uh, that I can't ask uh, any more of you. So thank you for that. Um, uh, I will um, remind you that if you do choose to send something, I will open it on a video like this and I will show everybody uh, what you sent to me. I will thank you publicly for it. Um, I will put the P.O. box on the screen one more time for anyone who wants to send something. Uh, you, you may. Um, and, and thank you. That's all I can say is thank you. I know that my output on the channel has been um, 
less than usual. Uh, that's for personal reasons and real life reasons. That's just how it's got to be for right now. But um, I still want to keep this channel going. Uh, I still love interacting with you. Um, I still love sharing G.I. Joe and talking about G.I. Joe. Um, so I'm going to keep it going, but um, hopefully I can get back up to the uh, level of production that I was at before. And this, right now it's, it's kind of difficult to do that. But uh, thank you everyone. Stay safe. I will see you soon with another G.I. Joe toy review. Um, and until then, of course, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.